Alright guys, in this video, we're going to show you how to install uh, app, the additional F4B key with uh, mini VCI J2534 cable, USB, and a text stream software. So that's the cable connecting to the OBD. Okay, make sure your driver properly installed. Because when you open the text stream software, you have to recognize your driver. Post the link down below for the cable. There's two keys. This is the original key, and that's the new key from eBay. I'm gonna post the link where to get that key. And this is a Lexus LS 460 2013. So now we're gonna, gonna show you closer. So you wanna keep original key that already works with your vehicle inside the vehicle first, and the secondary key outside. I'm just gonna place somewhere out. And we wanna turn the car on. So you don't have to press brake just twice. One time power and second time to start your car. Basically, uh, you have ignition on completely when you so one more try connecting to vehicle make sure your usb connected your ob2 connected reduce machine that's fine offline mode is Correct, so we're selecting radar, next, let's wait for connection, all right, it will take a moment to connect, sometimes uh, a minute to, between a minute to two minutes, okay, so now we are in the main venue and we're gonna start smart access. So you're looking either for smart key, smart access, uh, or something like that. So this is our smart access. We just click on that, press next, or just double click on it. That we just go to utilities. If we don't have the menu right away, we just click on the utility. That's gonna bring us to next menu for the key registration. So smart cord. Smart code erasure, smart code registration. Okay, so we can erase other keys if we have multiple keys set up before or we don't have enough spaces left. Usually you have five to seven uh, spaces for new key registration. So let's just start with the smart code registration menu. Click next or double click. And here's the option. You select all of these guys, click next. As you click next, now it's telling you available spaces for new code. There are six and one register key. So we only have one original register key. If it shows zero number available, that means you cannot add any more keys. So we have six spaces. We don't have to worry about it. And if your case are zero available, that means and you purchase used car, maybe some other key was registered. In case you have only one key, you can erase all of them. Just leave one of your original key and start from that point. Uh, but we're gonna add, because we have available keys. So we go next. Now in this menu, it's gonna tell you, okay, pre-check. So this is just the menu tell you what to do. You come here, you can read these instructions and go close it. And now it's give you available to start next. So in this menu, you have to have key ready, your original key ready, because you're gonna have 30 seconds to place again the uh, start button, okay? It shows you right here on the picture what to do. So, and then you have the new key available somewhere next outside your car so you can easily grab it and uh, and get it when you need it, okay? So, we're gonna get start next. We're placing this key within 30 seconds against the engine and we have a beep so we're gonna put the other key outside and bring the new key put it against and we
we have a beep and we have a second beep that it says the registered key so let's see let's click next and we have now five spaces available to kit set up so if you have new key you can add more if you need to if not you just exit and you say exit yes and you can close it off now we're gonna test make sure our key is working so now we're gonna turn it off and now we only have this key that new registered key here the other key is gonna be outside of the vehicle so first we're gonna test see if our car gonna close and open okay so the remote working and let's make sure we can start the car how you set it up your new key the key looks a little bit different but it works same way the downside so everything we programmed the locks working and lock works all right and uh, the only thing that doesn't work is our trunk opener even if we hold two seconds nothing happening so i guess this remote has not complete functionality as the original so just one update on that and it comes with the newly uh, set so you can go and cut your key just to make it uh, for your car so it's completely new unused uh, key that you can do it once you set up to this car uh, this key you cannot set it for different vehicles so be make sure you set it once to correct where you want to use it once you set it up you have to completely erase this uh, and it's a, it's very hard to do i mean it requires more hardware or special uh, equipment to do it so really set to the key to the car you wanted all right guys thank you for watching see you on the next one